my employer Google are building a one billion pound headquarters in London. And in this video, we are gonna take an inside look. As the COVID restrictions have finally started to relax in the UK, Google's work on the London headquarters that they are building can finally continue. And you know, it's been a long road. They only started building it in 2018, but it was years in planning before that. But finally things are back on track. So we're gonna look at like the external part of the building, we're gonna look at the roof terrace, we're gonna look inside, just to get a good understanding of like where they're at and what the current status of the building is and where that one billion pounds has gone. Despite the changing political landscape in the UK at the moment, Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google, still believes that the UK is a great place to find awesome employees. Well, like myself, right? Everything we have seen about the UK, uh, you know, the innovation we see here, the talent we have available here, and uh, you know how on the cutting edge of technology we are able to do things here, you know, makes makes it a makes it an incredible place for us to invest. So it's great to know that Sundar is keen to invest in the UK still, and keen to kind of grow the UK presence that Google has, in addition to what they've got in Dublin, which is like their EU headquarters. So all good there. Let's take a look at the exterior part of the building. So this building has been coined a landscraper, which has basically been called that because it is 330 meters in length, which is, just to put in like some context, longer than the shard is tall, which is kind of like a bit mind boggling, but that is apparently what a landscraper is. So <laughs> there we go. It's not just long either. It's actually pretty tall. So it's 11 stories high, and there is over 80,000 square meters of space across the whole building, which is mad. What's really interesting about this building as well is that it's the first building that Google has designed itself, end to end, from start to finish, outside of the Googleplex office, which is their main kind of like HQ in California in Silicon Valley. So this is the only office outside of the Googleplex that they've designed themselves completely from scratch. I think my favorite bit though is the 300 meter long rooftop garden that stretches all the way along the top of the building, which provides almost 360 degree views all across London and across King's Cross where the building is based. And you can just sit there, have your lunch, chill out and get some awesome views of the city. One of the key aspects about the building is actually its location too. So the building is located like literally just outside of King's Cross Station, which means you've got shops, it means you've got canals, it means that you've got a plethora of different like office buildings around, and just really, really nice area. And it actually sits kind of just within Coal Drops Yard, which is kind of like a really nice retail kind of restaurant dining area just next to where the building is gonna be. What I like about Coal Drops Yard as well is that it's made up of like loads of different independent shops, retailers, little restaurants, cafes. It's actually a really, really nice area. I used to work kind of really near to King's Cross a few years back, so I know the area fairly well and I'm really excited for everything that is gonna come from basically the benefits of working in that office and that surrounding area. Here's two bits of insider knowledge that you may not know. One, the people who are behind the whole design for Coal Drops Yard, which is the area that the Google office is gonna be based in, Heatherwick Studios are also behind the design of the new Google office. They also designed the new Route Master buses. And do you remember that kind of weird but really cool looking cauldron that was at the London 2012 Olympic Games that was like right at the top of the Olympic Stadium? Yep, <laughs> they designed that too. So they've had like some real big kind of influence on key London landmarks over the years. And the second thing is that for each floor of the kind of concrete structure that makes up the building, there is a different colored Android signal or different Android logo for each different floor. And it has an Android logo, a different color, and a different number signifying the floor that it is. But you won't see that when it's built. It's only on the structure of the actual foundations. Let's take a look at the interior. And you know, because it's Google, it's gonna be pretty special. So you've got all the standard stuff that you would need in an office. So you've got like collaborative at desk areas, you've got meeting rooms, you've got loads and loads of different cafes and restaurants. And of course, because it's Google, all the food, all the drink, it's completely free of charge, no matter the time or day or whatever, it's completely free. So 
that's the kind of amenities out the way. There's also a hell of a lot of sports stuff too. So we're talking a three lane swimming pool. We're talking a fully equipped gym. We're talking like a basketball court. There's even things like massage rooms where you can go and get a massage if you're feeling it. <laughs> and there's also as well, because it's Google and they're pretty famous for this, a whole range of nap pods spread across the office. So if you're kind of thinking it's three o'clock in the afternoon, I just need a 20, cheeky 20 minute nap to get me through the rest of the day. Well, you know, Google's thought of that too. They've even got their own like auditorium. So they've got like a 210 seater auditorium where they can invite members of media, influencers, whoever they want to, for like any kind of internal or external product announcements, which is a pretty cool thing to have too. And to be confirmed exactly what kind of retailers are gonna feature, but there is a whole ground floor space for retail outlets and units um, and different shops to basically feature kind of within the office itself. And I would imagine, I would kind of put a bet on it, that there is gonna be like a whole merchandise store as well for both employees and members of the public. So it'll kind of be like a space where you can come in and buy notepads, t-shirts, hoodies, pencils, all kind of merch that relates to Google, YouTube, and kind of surrounding products. Kind of merch like this, really. And if you wanna start thinking about what kind of merch you wanna pick up, or you're just interested in what merch Google has, do check out this video here, which I made recently, where Google sent me a whole load of different merch from YouTube to Google stuff, um, t-shirts and notepads and pop sockets, all that kind of stuff. This video here, I unboxed that swag. So it's a pretty cool video if you wanna check that out. So the office is gonna be pretty vast. It's pretty tall, it's pretty long. Um, and actually they've even built a diagonal staircase thing, which is gonna connect the bottom of the building all the way up to that rooftop. And speaking of that rooftop, it's 300 meters in long. It's gonna have like a pause area. It's gonna have a running track. There's gonna be like a wildflower meadow just like on top of the building. I think it's gonna be a great place. I think it's gonna be like the pinnacle of the office. So yeah, the London office is gonna be pretty fancy. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to actually having it like finally built. It's been a long time in the planning and the building and the development but hopefully, and they haven't confirmed when it's gonna be, but hopefully it's gonna be built and finished and people can start to move in within the next kind of like year to 18 months. That would be a timeline that would be amazing. Um, and I hope that they can finish it because yeah, the exterior and the interior of the office looks amazing. And one other kind of really interesting inside fact for you is that it can actually house 4,000 Google employees. And I imagine that they will probably also need to recruit more people into basically Google in the UK to help fill that office in the areas that they're really growing. So I would say, look out on the careers website if you're interested in a job in Google, because I imagine that there'll probably be quite a few more roles coming to the UK soon. And if you need any help when applying to Google, do drop me a comment or drop me a message on Twitter, and I would love to kind of give you some career advice and see if I can if I can help, um, depending upon what role you're applying for. So drop me a message if I can help. But otherwise, I hope you found this inside look into the new London office pretty insightful. I know I found it quite interesting. I found out a few things myself. And if you like this video, don't forget to check out this one here, which is a day in my life of working at Google at the moment. So check that out. Otherwise, have a great day and thanks so much for watching.